We will see a Pantheon ban off the bat. This ban is largely focused at God Tier Pantheon, one of his highest claims to fame. He has made it up to D1 using only Pantheon. What will he do in this situation with Pantheon banned out, his strongest champion? I'm looking forward to seeing possibly a, Dyrith, a Darius up top, which I know is one of the champs he is also skilled with. A Vi ban also for Dr. Catburst, just playing his last game as Vi. I'm not sure what other jungle champions Kepper is strong with in, the, in that jungle. A Ryzen Morgana ban coming out from Team Elo boosted. Morgana mostly because her black shield is so strong against all team comps. A Cinder pick and a Fizz ban coming out. Both great mid laners to ban out. Both can carry games very hard. What will be the first pick for the Purdue Collegiate team? And they are taking their time deciding what they want. And a Tristana pick will come out. First time seeing Tristana in this tournament. Will it be on Ella Boosted to carry this game through Tristana? Tristana is huge late game. One of the best AD carries in the meadow right now, followed up by a Lucian and Braum pick. A pick that can completely shut out Tristana if they get the poke on them. A Kha'Zix jungle picked up by Euphoria, and that will be a lock-in instantly. Kha'Zix jungle is completely strong through all the nerfs they've always found in Evolution to switch to. A Janna pick will also be hovered over. Will they lock that in? That will provide a lot of safe landing for that Tristana to help her get through the early game of Braum Lucian. Another good thing that Janna can do is with an ult, she will be able to isolate targets by pushing them out of the way if used very strategically. And it looks like they will stay with this Janna as their support pick. And it will be we will be seeing a Janna Tristana bot lane. Janna making a strong comeback after being almost never seen through the LCS split, was seen a ton at Worlds. Can the carry locking in Oriana, whereas Rusty will lock in Maokai? Got your Pantheon will be playing this Maokai, which I have not seen him on much. It will be very interesting. Uh, the Oriana pick was a great pickup by Cam. Uh, it's one of the champions he excels a lot on, Ari and Oriana. Ooh, will we see a Xerath to answer the Oriana? Xerath will be able to keep Oriana at a distance, and it will be basically a farm lane mid and they will be left to roam with kills. Both team comp looks fairly solid. Purdue Collegiate team looks a little bit squishy, whereas Purple team, Elo Boosted, has very much tank with Braum and Maokai. And what will the last champion to be locked in for the Purdue Collegiate team will be A Nasus. Nasus is a bold pickup. He could be super scary late game if he can get that the stacks on his Q. Nasus is always a threat. And with TP, TP he can split push to the end of the world. And the Darius pick will come out for God Tier Pan. Hold that pick. That is one of his second favorite champions. He is extremely confident on his Darius and Maokai will go to the jungler. That pretty much threw off Purdue Collegiate team, thinking Maokai would obviously go top. They pick a safe farmer. Darius will probably be looking to go a little bit aggressive here early on and try and get a few kills up on this Nasus. He will want to try his hardest to shut him down. As you can see, Darius is going Ignite, so he will be going for that kill potential. Nasus going Ghost Teleport, trying to play it safe. This is going to be an exciting game to watch, especially for the top lane, which I am excited to see. I do not see a Darius very often. And with that slam dunk skin coming out, it would be nice to see some great plays in this tournament. We'll have a three minute delay as we wait for them to start up the game. Uh, no matter what happens. 
Does the so Ori with a Maokai is gonna be huge? Where are you guys going? I'm not even. Gotta pause. So going into this, um, most Orianas will. Might take exhaust lately, but uh, against the opponent with the Zera, even though it's not too bad. Take a look at the uh, combinations here. Not really sure why we were paused. Paused on the player is a few seconds. Kind of just reading chat here now. <laughs> hey, he's not Gandalf. Oh, Gordon. Okay. Yeah, he said Gordon. Yeah, he did say Gordon. I can't read. I can't even move the screen. Well, so far we can Here. see that uh, Purple Side has made their purchases very swiftly. Can I help you? 
We'll have a pause for a bathroom break. Uh, it's kind of off to a slow start. Hopefully, we'll get to see some awesome lane action in a little bit here. I'm really looking forward to this Lucian Brom combo. Can they get the poke down and force this Tristana back early? Because I believe that will be a huge difference maker. Maokai jungle hasn't been seen in a while, it usually played top, however it does have potential jungle with a snare and a knockup and that much CC and utility, he can make a huge shift in presence anywhere he goes. Off to a good start. So far, both teams are tied, so you know they got that going for them, I guess. Hopefully, we'll get this game started fairly soon. time left on this pause. The readies get thrown out. And they are ready. So it looks like we will have this game starting off. Buys coming fast from the red team. Both teams rush to get early vision of the river. We have yet to see any invades come out from either of the teams. Will we see one today? Brom gets a lot of early vision. All, all five members of Team Elibus is pushing up on this Tristana. Will they be able to catch her? The snare goes down and she flashes away. That is a huge summer to be used on Tristana this early. Red team uses that advantage to get a few deep wards, mostly one right behind red. So that looks like that's all we're, we are going to see. Both teams are now just playing it safe and going to farm their respective junglers. Darius did end up choosing TP, not going for the huge kill potential that I stated earlier. He decided more so that he'd have more map pressure to follow that masses down for dragons, which I believe is a much smarter pickup. He, he was able to go ignite on Pantheon his last game due to uh, Pantheon's huge global roam. Only one sweeper in this game so far on the red team on that Maokai. We'll see if they're able, they're able to use that in their advantage. We'll go on and watch the mid lane for now. Both mids playing fairly safe, just farming up. Oriana getting a few good auto attacks. Due to her passive, her auto attacks do do a good amount of damage even early. Bot lane are pushing for early level 2 by Elibus, trying to get in a quick kill or a lot of damage when they hit that level 2 mark. That is when Lucian it becomes very strong. Maokai is a little bit ahead of this Kha'Zix in his jungle. Maokai already starting on his second buff. That level 2 goes down, Lucian gets damaged. Is he able to proc the sun? He does. And that is a huge chunk off on Tristana. And he even goes back to get a few dots in on Janna as well. 
Blue side forced to chug a few health potions just to stay in this lane. Top side, we will see Maokai roaming up top. Will he be able to go into that bush and get a gank? Kha'Zix will also be going top as well. Garish with a better early game than Nasus. Will Kha'Zix and Nasus be able to kill both of them? And there's Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix is going back. Garish baits into the bush. Garish getting a lot of damage down. The stun goes down on Kha'Zix. Kha'Zix is able to jump away. Nasus with no, no mana. Will he be able to run away? And it looks like that's going to be a clean getaway. A lot of damage goes down. Ooh. Risky decision by Kepper going in for the snare underneath turret. Only takes one turret shot and is able to walk away clean. However, Nasus will be forced, forced to be and blow his teleport a little bit earlier than Darius. Bot lane still keeping blue team pushed to their turret. Tristana is down 10 CS to this Lucian. That could end up being crucial if she is not able to take up more CS. Oh, the stunner will not be propped on Janna, leaving them able to run away. Janna is usually a very strong pickup against Braum. Most because Janna can provide a lot of disengage and a lot of support. Right now, Purdue Collegiate Team is losing out on a good amount of CS. Oriana also up with a CS advantage as well as Lucian. Junglers have not been able to make much of a presence in this game yet, besides for that one gank top where both members walked away. Botlands trying to freeze the lane, trying to let Blue Team miss out on a little bit of the CS. A fairly slow game. However, Red Team almost has a 1k gold lead just through minion CS alone. Last hitting is going to kill this Purdue team if they cannot get on top of it. There it is, keeping this Nasus at base, stopping him from being able to stack up. Kai is coming up, trying to get a gank on this Darius. However, I do not think it's going to work out. Darius sees him and backs off. Kha'Zix throws out a W, but that's can't do much more than that. A big mini wave is pushing on them. And Kha'Zix will walk away. Oh, Kha'Zix staying in lane. Maybe trying to provide a little bit of pressure so that Nasus can CS a little bit. Back in the bot lane, you see Red Team freezing the lane allowing the minions to kill the CS so that blue team is getting zoned out completely from CS and a little bit of experience. One K 300 gold difference. Pretty clearly the team really needs to get a gank or just start last hitting a little bit better right now because this is going to affect them when they go back. Red team is going to look a lot stronger. Darius already up 20 CS on this Nasus. This Nasus cannot do much, just plays safely. Darius has reached that level 6. His ult will do a ton of damage if he can get, him, get it off with 5 stacks in this Nasus. And it looks like we have an Oriana Realm into the jungle. Will she pick up this red or will it, is she just helping Maokai? I'm assuming she's just going to help. Bot lane still putting pressure on this Purdue Collegiate team. This bot lane needs help desperately. Lucian is already up 30, 40 CS on this Tristana. This is going to hurt her badly on first Bs. And first blood goes down to Maokai and Oriana mid. This game is looking like a stomp. This Kha'Zix needs to get some presence in these lanes. He needs to get a gank and get 
get going because right now it is looking very rough for the Purdue Collegiate team. A lot of damage goes down on that Janna. Lucian coming out with his full combo. However, Trish follows up and is able to get off a good amount of damage as Lucian runs away. It looks like Blue Buff does go over to Orianna. Hopefully to help her snowball that lane a little bit more. There are just a huge CS difference across the board in this game. Oh, the ult goes down from Gordon Ramsay. Is he able to fall up? Tristan just jumps away. That was a little bit wasted. They may be looking to be here, so they might have wanted to just blow everything. And it looks like that is exactly what they're doing. Lucian's still pressuring up, and he decides to go B as well. Let's check, head over to mid lane, see what's going on with this action. Xerath looks like he's going to get a blue buff of his own, allow him to spam and hopefully be able to farm safely a bit more. Darius throws down a ward top lane against this Nasus, looking out for this Kha'Zix, who has been trying to help this Nasus snowball. This Nasus is not able to farm a thing. All across the board, Tristana 38, Lucian 83, Xerath 57, Orianna 81. And even in the top lane, Nasus is 48 to uh, Darius is 71. They just don't seem like they have an answer right now. Drag pipes will be coming up soon. The Purdue Collegiate team needs to get wards on that side of the map because they have been forced to their towers all game long. And it looks like they are setting up for Dragon. Red team is. And they have started it. Kha'Zix is nowhere to be seen. He is back at base. This will be a free dragon for Elo Boosted. Great timing. And just horrible lack of wards by this Purdue Collegiate team. All lanes too scared to go in. What? You're not full stream. Right? You're not see yeah, I am. Can you pull Darius up there and map it up there? So okay. you can get to the bottom line. Oh, like this? Yeah. It'll, it'll show up in a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. I just wanted to see. In bot lane, there's a four man dive. Both blue team members will walk away. However, they were able to pick up the kill on Janna. Red team able to walk out of here with a dragon and a turret, contributing more to their gold lead. A, almost a 5k gold lead at 11 minutes in. This match is going to be snowballed heavily in Elo Boosted favor. Another turret going down. This is going to be a struggle for Purdue's team to come back into this game. They are really going to need to focus, capitalize on wards, objectives, and picks to get back in this game. Darius top lane still able to just freeze his lane and farm. And Nasus goes B. This may be another turret for Elo Boosted. Red team with great wards deep in blue team's jungle. Blue team really needs to pick up a few scanners and get those wards out of there. As the CP is top, Darius does not care at all putting in damage on that turret even with Nasus auto attacking him. Oriana mid clearing out a wave really fast and then going over to help her Maokai. Setting up to maybe possibly steal this red or bait out a fight. And huge damage coming down on this Janna. And the Maokai will pick up the kill with the sapling. Blue team is just trying to gain control back in their jungle, but it is not happening. 
Cam McCary having a much more confident play on this Oriana than he did on his Ari. His Ari was fairly lackluster with the taunts he was missing. However, this Oriana play has been much better. All lanes have just been stomping. Hopefully we'll see a little bit of action. I want to see a good, nice 5v5. But this Nasus is not going to do much in these team fights if he cannot get CS. This Nasus is only at, I want to say it's 14 stacks. Most likely, I have, I, I want to say it's 151, but I'm only seeing 15. This Nasus is severely underfed, and that's not what they need. Even scaling in the late game, it's going to take a while and a lot of CS to get him going. It looks like Kha'Zix did go for the Evolve W first so that he is able to poke. Bot lane still pushing. Now will they decide to go for a tier 2 or will they, will they grow up, go up and go for a pick? And another red buff will be go, uh, blue buff will be will go over to zero. Darius just getting back to lane. Already has a sunfire cape completed. He can put out a ton of AOE damage right now. The uh, CS differences are just growing. Lucian with twice as much CS as this Tristana. She is going to be in trouble in these team fights. And they are grouping mid, allowing Darius to split and probably take top. This has just been a much better executed game than the last game by Team Ella Boosted. Ooh, Lucian taking a lot of poke. Is getting fairly scary. Nasus gives up top to Darius. That is a three turret and one dragon advantage for for red team. Not to mention a ton of CS. Right now, blue team really needs to group up and get a pick on someone because this game is going downhill fast. Ooh, Kazakh's trying to pick up and stopping the B from Brom, however, did not get there in time. Right now, it looks like blue team's just gonna go and get a little bit of vision in the red team's jungle, blue side. With Dragon up, will Blue Team try to fight over this Dragon or will they just give it up? There's just such a huge lead. I do not think they can compete for this, but they do need the gold so badly if they want to stick in this game. Darius is splitting top. He still has TP available. Blue Team will be forced to either go up and deal with him or go for drag and the rest of the TP ends. It looks like they will try to rush mid since two team two members of Elibus have been spotted bot as one top. They think they can take this turret just from this Oriana. However, Lucian is closing in and he will have calling up if he needs to wave clear. Blue team tries to pincer in on this dragon. However, they're gonna get blockaded by this Oriana. Uh, Kha'Zix tries to escape, but it's too late. Uh, Maokai comes in with the stun. That's the TPs, but it is just... Oh, that's Darius. Whoops. Darius with the free kill. And it's going to be a free dragon again for red team. Nas is staying top, trying to farm up. But it will not do his team much good. Elibus is trying to end this game early. There's almost a 10k goal difference in this game. Blue team needs an answer very badly. And Brom goes in on Tristana. Lucian with the calling. Will that be enough damage? And it is. Nasus flashes in and is just destroyed. However, he is able to take down Lucian. Actually, this might be the fight that Blue Team needs to turn around. 
They're closing in. A lot of damage was put down by the turret. Kha'Zix is just so squishy and just has no damage to back it up right now. Jen is going to ult to play it off safe and back off. The Xerath is still going hard. I am not sure what he is doing. But he is forced to flash, and that is just a wasted summoner by Xerath. He had no business being there. And that was a very, very greedy play. <laughs> Most summoners blown from both teams. NASA still has his flash and Oriana has hers as well, but that is it. Lou was able to pick up two kills. But still, a 10k gold deficit is so hard to come back from. Not to mention the ward control that Red Team is able to get. Red Team is just trying to bully Blue out of their jungle. Lucian and Brom are both in their jungle right now. They want that red. Will they be able to 2v3? Their Azirith is coming up by Wraiths. And it looks like they will try to go for this. A beautiful Oriana all deletes that Janna as they chase down the Tristana. Tristana, of course, leaps away and is able to make it out of there safely. Blue team is having so much trouble trying to find an answer. When Oriana goes back in, Kha'Zix gets a little bit of poke. And Tristana is deleted by Brom, Oriana, and Lucian. Top lane. Got to your Pantheon and tried to go hard in on this Nasus. He is trying to kite him away. And it looks like it will be a kill for Nasus. A great shutdown by Nasus. That is what they need. They need this Nasus to get big and zone their entire team. If they can do that and leave Azirus and Trishana to shoot from the back lane, they may have a chance. Good poke from Zerus coming out here. They are scanning that. They may be trying to catch someone off guard. Oriana is spotted by a ward to give it away. And Lucian down bot trying to 1v4. He gets caught out a little bit. Oriana's shield takes most of the damage. That thing is huge right now. The calling comes down. Half health two of their members. And it looks like red team will continue to push. Nasus is forced to, build, for, forced to be to try and join his team to hold off some of these turret pushes. Great shield by Braum, knocking the knockup on Lucian. Blocking the knockup. <laughs> and Kha'Zix is now finally finishing off his jungle item. This is, they are so far behind in gold. They are just trying to find any scrape they can. Will they look to engage? No, they will not. They know that Darius is top pushing and Nasus is now grouped with them. They do not want to give Purdue any chance to come back. But they don't have to. Looks like they were pushed mid. Try to take another tier 2 turret. Oh, and it looks like Kha'Zix is spotted. Darius gets the hook on Kha'Zix. Will he be able to finish him off? He will not. Kha'Zix will run away and is forced to blow his ult. Oh, and the ult goes down by Oriana on the Tristana and the Ignite. Will that be enough to kill her? And it looks like Tristana will live just barely, but it's forced to be. This is huge. Elibusa needs to capitalize on this and take this turret. Oriana ult is down. And they try to hard engage, but they just can't catch this team. They get the Bromstone on Nasus and do a ton of damage, but that is all they can do. Looking again, still just trying to survive. Gordon Ramsay gets dropped very low. And it looks like they will just back off for now. This game is extremely one-sided. This Lucian is so big. He already has IE. He's about to go back. He has 2k gold on himself right now. This is not looking very good for the Purdue Collegiate team. Right now, they have not gotten a single turret against this Elabusa team. Again, Elabusa is the reigning champion of the Ebash League of Legends tournament, and they have formed so far today.
Another blue will be given to Xerath. Ooh, but accidentally picked up by Nasus. That will destroy their wave clear. So I think it should be time for Reg to either set up vision around Baron, which they already have done, or siege top lane tier 2 turret. Wait, Elo boost is winning? Is Elo boost is winning? Yeah, yeah. I misread that completely. Oh, people. And it looks like they will start the Baron. They know that Blue Team has zero vision on the Baron due to their pinks and their scryings. This will be a free Baron. Blue Team is not even in the vicinity. Jenna and Tristan are trying to rush up there to get vision on it, but they decide to back off instead. This will be a free Baron for Elo Boosted. The Purdue Collegiate team is going to have a rough go of this with Elo Boosted looking to end this game. It's only at the 23 minute mark and Baron has already been done uncontested. The Gold League just keeps growing and growing almost up to a 20k Gold League. God Tier Pants does not have the biggest champ pool, but Darius and Pantheon are two champions you do not want to give him. He excels on both tremendously. Ooh, and he gets the first part of the stun. Second part, and Xerath is dead. There is nothing they can do. Red Team are just going in haphazardly. The TP comes in from NASA to try and stop this engage from going any further. This is where Blue Team needs to come in. They need to be able to poke. Red Team does not have very good engage besides Braum ulti and Pant Grab. The only thing Blue Team can hope for is to fight underneath their turrets. But I do not see that even being a factor. Did something happen? And Darius is out taunting, and he very well can with the huge CS lead that they have. Every lane just got destroyed. This looks like this is going to be a free win for Team Elo Boosted. We put you guys closer than. <laughs> And blue team is trying to no shit to hand, get a push, dude. trying to get a second yeah, turret yeah, and some no, crucial gold. Yeah, Will they be able to take this turret? Brom is there, but is he able to stop four people? He is not. The shield goes out the wrong way, and they back off, taking a turret. They're going to need to have great rotations if they want to come back in this game. Oriana's pushing down mid by herself. She has no fear of the enemy team. Ooh, Zerith gets a little bit of poke on Cam, but with Baron Buff, she will regen that very fast. I'm trying to get a kill on the Zerith. He is very far out by himself. He is clearing wards. He has zero fear of this team. This team is still just trying to stay alive. Will they be able to defend this tier 2 top turret or will it go down without contest? Oh, and a beautiful ult by Oriana. The follow up. Malachi is getting zoned out by Nasus. The flash from ulti to get the knockout. And Nasus goes down as well. This will be a 2 for 0, and a turret will go to Elibus. This looks like this is game. This gold lead is just too much, and the team cannot come back. They can't fight this Elibus team. And Kha'Zix gets deleted, hooked in by the Darius, and gone. Braum playing ballsy, not giving a care in the world. While Lucian gets a little bit of CS, trying to push the wave a little bit faster. They are looking to end. Will they be able to do that? Lucian getting deep. He gets stunned. Braum with the block, stopping all damage. And this is game. There is nothing they can do. The Zonius goes out by Oriana. What a scrub. That was a terrible time to use Zonius. I don't think you're supposed to be in the 
and Evolution all goes down, this will be game. This is over. Congrats, Elevision, on another victory.